Hello everyone, you all are welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we have a question related with unseen theorem. This question I took from SEE question bank. This question we asked three times. I seen this question we asked in three times in SEE. So today I'm going to provide you a best solution of this question. So keep watching, watch till last. Okay, look at it. Question. In the given figure, AD is parallel to B is parallel to GF and AB is parallel to DG is parallel to EF. The area of rectangle ABC T is equal to area of rectangle CEFG. Prove that DE and BG are parallel. We have to prove that DE and BG, these two lines are parallel. This diagram little bit, this area should be short. Mistakely I drawn big you can understand if you look at the question bank this area little bit short it means same diagram it will be same okay now we have to prove that DE and BG are parallel it means we have to show that two triangles are equal between these two lines if two triangle if we can show that two triangles are equal between these two lines it means this two lines are parallel so first of all our aim is to show two triangles are equal between these two lines for this we need construction also let's start keep watching till last given what is given here just what is given here you have to mention it ad parallel be parallel gf and AB parallel DG parallel EF also what is given here AR I'm going to write AR AR means area area of ABCD area of ABCD is equal to AR area of CEFG area of these two rectangles are equal what we have to prove here to prove we have to prove that DE parallel BG. We have to prove that DE and BG, DE and BG, these two lines are parallel. Okay, now we have to write on construction. In construction, we can write join, join BD and GE. BD and GE we have to join after this we have to join BD and G always use pencil and scale if you do rough work in examination you will get rough marks also so your work should be neat and clean it will attract examiner while checking copy okay now finally I joined B E N G E if you have any kind of confusion you can you can comment and on the previous videos I was uploaded some important unseen theorem related with uh, area of triangle and quadrilateral similarly from circle 2 so you can watch that previous videos also now our aim is to make one table first of all to the left side we have to write on a statement and to the right side we have to write on reason you don't write directly you have to show this table i told you again and again your work should be neat and clean to attack the examiner and you will get good marks too Okay, here table also ready to the left side we have to write on statement and to the right side you have to write on reason okay now number one I'm going to write what is given here in the quotient what is given here I'm going to write down first that area of triangle rectangle ABCD is equal to area of rectangle C E F G and reason is what just given because in question already given these two rectangles are equal 
look at once a diagram a b c d a b c d and c e f g c e f g this two area are equal i told you this diagram little bit big but don't be confused and this two are same mistakenly i drawn this one little bit bigger than this one but area is equal here <coughs> sorry number two area of triangle d b c is equal to area of triangle e c g look at diagram this b d b c this area and e c g area of this triangle and area of this triangle are equal Oh, what is the reason here from statement one look at here a b c d and c e f g area of these two rectangles are equal it means b d and g e are diagonals it means these two also equal diagonal bisect each other b d and g e bisect each other it means area of this this equal area of this and this equal so we can write area of this triangle area of this triangle are equal they are b e b d and g e are diagonals of rectangles b d and g e are diagonals bisect the rectangle similarly in number three we can write area of dbc plus area of dce is equal to look at this diagram d b c this only taken plus d c e d c e similarly here also we have to do same this plus this we have to do e c g e c g plus this is equal to area of e c g plus area of d c e and reason is that adding common area d e c both sides of statement 2 in statement 2 adding d c e d c both side in lhs also adding d c e in rhs also adding d c e when you add this to what we get here or triangle look at this d b c plus d c e when you adding this two when you add this this triangle plus this triangle it means b d e we get or d b e we get you can write any triangle d b e we get similarly e c g e c g this plus this one common d c e when you add this to what we get here d g e we get d e g what i told you to show that these two are parallel we have to show that two triangles are equal it means now look at here this triangle and this triangle are equal both the triangles are equal if two triangles are equal means they are parallel equal when area of triangles are equal then when area of triangles are equal it means these two sides are parallel if parallel then area equal they are standing on the same base between same pair lines we have a theorem number two so in number four we can write d e parallel b g in number four from statement three and 
area of triangles are equal if area of triangles are equal then opposite sides are parallel and when parallel and starting on same base then area are equal hope you understand this theorem please subscribe my channel if you are new like share with your friends who's preparing for SEC examination board examination thanks for watching my video keep supporting